so this one, and then watch this. I think, I think that's good. I think that shows pretty well. This one, I love this camera. Tyler Price will take this one. This one's going to you. Good claim, little fly in there. I love this camera, nice, look at that. All right, uh, Tyler Price, this one, and then do you wanna see number one as well? Fridays, and then the other one I think you wanna see is probably this guy right here. Jen Bren, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, I put that one in your cart there. Number one, okay, so it's a big cabochon. In, it's got flow lines, insect-wise. Maybe one guy down here. Very small insect, how close can we go? Let's see. And that's still pretty close, one clear insect. Eh, semi-clear, he's, he's very, very small. That's piece number one, recommendation. This one looks cool. Whoa, we got a little surprise here. This one looks cool. This one I recommend. Uh, this one's 20, this is piece number, piece number 20, coincidentally. Is that possibly a mantis? Uh, Yvonne Rod's T I and on this one. She got her eye on this one. Let's check this out. Boom. Yvonne Rod, this one's going to, or Y Rod, this one's going to you. Very interesting little guy. Lots of flow lines. Possible mantis? Not for sure though. A little bit, it's like half the body got cut off. Yvonne, this one's going to you. How do you guys like the horizontal? Whoa, what? Oh, this is a Myanmar slab. I recognize this piece. This is not supposed to be Dominican. This is not Dominican. Um, Jay Bren gets this one. This is a Myanmar slab, I remember that. And so I can tell you, if I hit this with the UV light right here, this piece is gonna be more purple than the rest of these pieces. Let's test it out. Because Myanmar amber is more purple. So all these are Dominican amber, and this one piece is Myanmar. Hit it with the UV light. Yep, you see how it turns, like especially like, I don't know if it's showing on camera super well, but you can kinda, you get more purple out of it, as opposed to something like this, like this is Dominican on the right. There you go, you see how it turns purple? Right there, and the, the Dominican one doesn't, that's how you know it's Myanmar. Because Myanmar has that purpleness to it. Oh, that's showing it really good. Jeez, that looks vibrant. Yeah, so that's a Myanmar slab. It definitely is supposed to be more than 20 bucks, so you're uh, scoring on this one. And then Tyler Price, since you like that, I will tell you guys that here's a scam that I encountered in the Amber world. Nobody ever wrote about this on the internet ever before until I figured it out. If you buy Dominican Amber, they'll, Dominican Amber dealers, Dominican Amber dealers, they'll scam you by, they'll buy cheap amber from Myanmar and they'll ship it to the Dominican Republic. They'll mix it half and half with Dominican pieces and then they'll sell you this lot and they'll say, hey, this is all Dominican amber. But really, they bought those pieces from, they bought cheap pieces from Myanmar and they mixed them in with the Myanmar lot and they upcharge all those pieces. So your, your lot gets watered down with low quality Myanmar ones and when you hit it with a UV light, you'll notice, wow, half of these are purple and half of these are not. That's how you know you get, if you got scammed or not. And I have definitely... Ooh, Ant is there. Anthony, what? Get it, get it. Okay, Man, so this is going to Jen Bren. And what I just showed you with the purple thing with Myanmar, I don't even think the world's top amber scientists would know, would, would know about that. I'm not joking. They're like, nobody knows about that. It's like a big secret in the amber world. The Dominican scam's a secret and how to detect it, nobody knows. Except for me and you guys. And you'll learn that here in all the secrets of the amber world. Here. <laughs> um, next piece number, next piece for 20, this is gonna be number 22. Red. Andre, you like the light? Ooh, little, little, maybe a stingless bee in there. Cool, yeah, that light is cool. 
I'm I'm hesitant to order another one because Yvonne, that that test will help you with to determine if it's Myanmar. And let me just point out one thing so to help you with the test, Yvonne. The UV flashlight sends out two circles of light. You have the small circle and you have the big circle. You test for Myanmar inside of the big circle. Oops, hold on. Let me show you. You test for Myanmar amber. You test for Myanmar amber inside of the, the, the big circle here. If you put it in the middle, you can't tell the difference. But if you put it in, that, in this circle, that's when you see the purple. So make sure you do it in that circle. 